Constable Ron Albert's life was saved while wearing his body armor when he was involved in a serious motor vehicle accident in the summer of 1988. His story is now part of a new body armor display at the Sudbury Regional Police Museum. An oncoming motorist uh, lost control and struck our police cruiser, totaled our cruiser, and uh, recovering while recovering in the hospital, I uh, was made aware by medical staff that the uh, body armor had saved my life. Had it not been for wearing the uh, Kevlar vest, I wouldn't be here talking to you today. The installation displays different types of armor used by police services, some of them dating back to the 1950s. The panel for the, uh, what everybody calls the bulletproof vest, which is actually body armor, uh, was created a couple of years ago. We had been working on it for a period of time and then things just, other projects came along and uh, so we, uh, a couple of years ago we finished it. During the 80s, of course, the Kevlar body armor wasn't, uh, man wasn't required or wasn't mandatory to be worn by officers then. Very few officers wore the vest. It was uh, it's heavy, as you can see, it speaks for itself, about seven or eight pounds. It's warm. It didn't become mandatory for police officers to wear the vest until, I believe, in the late 90s, 1996. The legislation was passed and it is now mandatory for all police officers in Ontario to wear the uh, Kevlar body armor uh, out in the field. The Sudbury Regional Police Museum is located on the third floor of the Greater Sudbury Police Station on Brady Street. Admission to the museum is free. For more information, phone 675-9171, extension 2635, or email museum at police.subbury.on.ca.